Cloud industry is exploding, an $832 billion market by 2025, and companies are desperate for cloud engineers, throwing six-figure salaries at anyone with the right skills and the determination. But here is the cold, hard truth. 99% of people trying to break in this field are wasting their time. They're stuck in a cycle of endless tutorials, useless certifications, and strategies that simply do not work in 2024. I've been in tech for over a decade, and I've built multi-million dollar solutions for Fortune 500s, launched my own cloud security business, and helped complete beginners land their dream cloud jobs through my education company. Today, I'm going to reveal the fastest, most effective path to learn cloud engineering and actually get hired. This isn't theory. This isn't some feel-good pep talk. This is the exact process that's helped people go from zero knowledge to landing cloud jobs in a matter of months and not years. But let me be clear, this isn't for the tire kickers or the daydreamers. If you're looking for an easy ride, then click away right now. This is for the 1% who are ready to put in the work, who are hungry for rapid success, who want to shortcut years of struggle. If that's you, if you're ready to fast track your way into one of the most lucrative tech fields out there, then pay very close attention. Because in the next few minutes, I'm going to hand you the blueprint to leapfrog the competition and land a cloud engineering job faster than you ever thought was possible. The clock is ticking, your competitors are out there already, and it's time to leave them in the dust. Now, before we get started, check out my weekly cloud newsletter where I share free resources, tutorials, bootcamps, and so much more helping you make your cloud move. Now you might be wondering, why cloud engineering? Why not software development, data science, or any other tech field? Well, let me break it down for you. Firstly, the demand for cloud engineering is absolutely insane. We're not talking about a slight increase here. We're witnessing an explosion. Every single day, more companies are migrating to the cloud. From startups to Fortune 500s, they're all scrambling to find qualified cloud engineers. And guess what? there's simply not enough of us to go around. In fact, every single day, there's over 300 cloud jobs being added to the US alone. This shortage translates directly into your pocket. Cloud engineers aren't just well paid, they're amongst the highest paid professionals in the tech industry. The entry level positions start at $80,000 to $100,000. And if you have a few years experience, you're looking at $150,000, $200,000, and even $250,000 for senior roles. And that's not even counting bonuses, stock options, and all those other perks like free food. But it's not just about the money. The career growth potential in cloud engineering is unmatched. In just a few years, you could go from junior cloud engineer to a cloud architect designing multi-million dollar projects. Or you could leverage your skills to start your own cloud consultancy like I did. And here is the best part. Cloud engineering just never gets boring new services, new technologies, new challenges every single day. You're not just maintaining systems, you're building the future of technology. Because one day you might be architecting a scalable solution for a startup. The next, you're securing sensitive data for a government agency. Because the cloud is the backbone of modern technology. It powers everything from the apps on your phone to the AI systems shaping our world. And as a cloud engineer, you're not just riding the wave of the future, you're actually helping to create it. So ask yourself, do you wanna be stuck in a dead end job, watching the tech revolution pass you by? Or do you wanna be at the forefront with companies fighting to hire you with a skill set that will be in demand for years to come. If you're ready to seize this opportunity to position yourself at the cutting edge of tech, then cloud engineering is your ticket. And I'm going to show you how to punch that ticket faster than you ever thought was possible. So let's talk about the paths to becoming a cloud engineer. Well, the traditional route is a four years degree, internships, entry-level jobs, and slowly climbing the ladder. It's thorough, but it's slow. We're talking years before you can even touch cloud technologies in the real world world for clients. But times have changed. The industry moves too fast for that old school approach. And that's where my accelerated learning method comes in. It's not about replacing foundational knowledge. It's about streamlining the process. We cut the fluff, focus on what matters and get you job ready in months. Now, the first step 
is to master the fundamentals. No negotiation here. You need a rock solid foundation in five key areas. Networking, operating system, databases, virtualization, and programming. Let's start with networking. This is how the cloud breathes. Master TCP, IP addresses, DNS, and load balancing. Without this, you're gonna be a little bit lost. And then we have operating system, especially Linux. Know how to navigate, manage, and troubleshoot on this OS. Then you wanna learn about databases, SQL and no SQL. Understand data structures, querying, and management, because data is the new oil, and you need to know how to handle it. And let's not forget virtualization. This is the backbone of cloud computing. Learn about hypervisors, containers, and how to create and manage virtual machines. Finally, let's talk about programming with Python or TypeScript, because you wanna pick one and you wanna get good at it. You don't need to be a fully fledged software engineer, but you need to speak the language of automation. And then you wanna just practice, because practice is a non-negotiable. Set up a home lab, build a virtual network, deploy databases, create and deploy VMs, because the more you break and fix, the faster you will learn. Because remember, in cloud engineering, theoretical knowledge is just the beginning. It's your practical skills that will set you apart. So dive in, get your hands dirty, and do it with some urgency. Now, speaking of fundamentals and building on the cloud, this video is sponsored by DigitalOcean, the cloud platform that kickstarted my own cloud journey. And here is why it's perfect for beginners. Firstly, it's simplicity. DigitalOcean's user interface makes learning cloud concepts a breeze. It's also affordable because it's got predictable pricing, which means you get no shocking bills when your free credits run out. Their documentation is also a goldmine for learners and it's how they became the developers cloud and unlike the big platforms you don't need certifications to get started i actually remember it very well signing up to digital ocean and playing around with their droplet service which is basically their virtual machines i was immediately hooked. DigitalOcean isn't just for devs anymore. They're growing fast with startups and small businesses, all while keeping things simple. Want to accelerate your cloud learning? Then you need to join the DigitalOcean Deploy event on July 9th, 2024. It's a virtual conference packed with expert talks, case studies, and networking opportunities. You'll see firsthand how businesses are using DigitalOcean to build and scale rapidly. With over 600,000 customers in 190 countries, DigitalOcean is very serious about creating a great developer experience. Now go check out the link in my bio to register for the DigitalOcean Deploy event on July 9th. Now let's get back to the blueprint for cloud engineering success. So you've committed to mastering the fundamentals. Now it's time for a crucial step that most people overlook, building your online presence. Start documenting your journey right now, today, and not when you are an expert, but as you're learning. Why? Well, because it does two powerful things. Firstly, it holds you accountable. When you share your progress publicly, you're more likely to stick with it. It's like having thousands of accountability partners. Next, it builds your personal brand. By the time you're job ready, you'll have a portfolio of your growth that sets you apart from every other candidate. Create a GitHub account and start pushing your practice projects. Write LinkedIn posts about what you're learning. Share your victories, your struggles, and your aha moments. Remember, companies aren't just hiring your skills. They are hiring you. Show them who you are and how you think. Now let's move on to choosing your cloud platform and getting hands-on experience because it's time to pick your battlefield. AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. These are the big three, but here is the thing. For landing your first job, it doesn't really matter which one that you choose. What matters is that you go deep on one because AWS has the largest market share. So to me, that makes the most sense for beginners as there'll be more opportunities, but just pick the one that excites you the most and commit. But don't just read about it, get your hands dirty. And here is what you need to do. You want to start by setting up a free tier account. In fact, all cloud platforms offer you this. Start with the basics, spin up a virtual machine, set up some networks, create databases. Then you need to challenge yourself. Build a highly available web application. Set up a CI CD pipeline or create a serverless application. Break things, then you want to fix them. And that's where the real learning happens when you're putting yourself through challenges. Document every step, 
share your projects, ask questions in communities because the cloud community is incredibly supportive. So you want to use it. Remember, theory without practice is useless in this field. Every hour you spend building is worth five hours of just reading. Your goal is to become so familiar with your chosen platform that you can solve real problems with it. Because to be honest, that is what employers are looking for, not certifications, not degrees, but practical, applicable skills. So pick your platform, roll up your sleeves and start building. And let me repeat, nothing matters more to you and your cloud skills than building real hands-on projects. Now, a quick word on certifications because they're not the be all and end all, but they are going to give you an edge. And here is my advice about them. Start with cloud agnostic certifications like the CompTIA Cloud Plus or the CCSP. They give you a solid foundation across all platforms. Then for your chosen cloud provider, begin with the foundational cert. For AWS, that's the Certified Cloud Practitioner. For Azure, it's the AZ900. For Google Cloud, it's the Associate Cloud Engineer. Finally, you don't want to cert chase. One or two strategic certifications combined with your hands-on projects is more than enough to land your first job, along with everything else that I mentioned, of course. Remember, certifications complement your skills. They do not replace them. Employers value practical experience over a wall of certifications. And let's talk about employers and landing that job, because here's the truth. Companies are desperate for cloud engineers, but they're looking for problem solvers, not certificate collectors. And when you're applying, you want to showcase your projects. You want to explain the challenges that you faced and how you overcame them. That's what sets you apart. But let's be real. This journey isn't easy. You'll face challenges such as imposter syndrome. And remember, everyone starts somewhere. Your documented journey proves how far you've come. You will come up against information overload. So stay focused. And also you wanna to stick to your chosen path and your platform. And finally, don't get burnt out because this is a marathon and not a sprint. So take breaks, but never ever quit. And applying for jobs takes dedication and consistency. And my students inside my Cloud Engineer Academy are applying for jobs daily and they're securing interviews at big tech with the likes of AWS. Now, the key to overcoming these challenges is community. You wanna surround yourself with like-minded people who push you forward. Remember, the cloud industry is booming and it waits for absolutely no one. The time is to start now. Commit to your learning, build in public and take action and take advantage of events like DigitalOcean Deploy to accelerate your growth, which is linked in the video description. Now, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.